and the one I want to speak about today is our oldest granddaughter, Hannah. She is 12, and when she was two, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, also known as juvenile diabetes. And so this breaks my heart. It really does, because I know this is something Hannah's going to have to do forever. And if I could take this disease away from her, I would do it in a heartbeat. Um, so after several years of Dick and I watching Hannah and her family dealing with this disease, and it started to dawn on us that this is, this is not a cheap disease. For example, when she has to test her, her finger her, with the, her little meter, there's little strips in there that you have to, that kind of wicks up the blood. Well, those strips cost about a dollar a strip. And they test her, or she now tests herself, maybe 10 to 12 times a day. So you figure on an average that's $10 a day times pretty much the rest of Hannah's life. And we started thinking, they're lucky. They've got good insurance through her dad's business. But not everybody's got that. And we are in an area we're not too far away. There are families who probably don't have insurance. We have heard about kids cutting their test strips in half so that they can save them. Well, obviously, as you can imagine, they're not getting a good reading with that. So Dick and I started talking about it. Uh, Dick went to the CEO at the time, who was Michael Stevens at Hogue Hospital. Dick at the time was on the board, uh, the board of directors for Hogue, um, and started talking to Michael about what our vision was. And our vision was to open up a diabetes center that the first question that people are not asked is, what's your insurance? That we will cover anyone who comes in. And that's how the idea got planted. That was the seed that planted. Hogue Hospital got behind the program. We have raised money. And now we have an incredible center that sees everybody and anybody. It covers type 1 diabetes for children. We had the opening, the grand opening, um, a year ago last June, June of uh, 09. And uh, our family came down from Northern California, and Hannah walked in with me at age 11. Uh, she's not lacking in self-esteem. And she looked around, and she saw the building with our name on it. And she looked at me, and she said, well, Grandma, where's my name? And I said, you know, Hannah, you've got a good point, because, honey, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. So that's my story. That's